This is another installment of the SNL Podcast. I'm your host, just some guy named Jay. And uh, in this one, I want to talk about Sarah Silverman. Uh, before I start talking about Sarah Silverman, though, uh, if you guys plan on checking out the movie Wreck-It Ralph, uh, definitely uh, another thing you guys might like if, you, if you're into classic 8-bit video games and things like that and the 8-bit video game sounds, I definitely you guys should definitely check out this DJ. Well, he's a former club DJ. Now he's a music producer slash beat maker. His name is DJ Mega Blaster. And uh, the thing about DJ Mega Blaster is uh, his hook or his angle is what he does. He takes classic 8-bit video game like Nintendo sounds and Atari sounds and, and, and Game Boy and things like that. And he takes them and he flips them and, uh, and remix them and, and makes great hip-hop songs out of them or, or, and, and great uh, dance mixes and things out of the tracks. Uh, so you guys should definitely check that out if you're uh, if you're into that type of stuff. Um, and you know if you if you definitely search this video by putting in Wreck It Ralph because you know of course Sarah Silverman's in it. You know I think checking out DJ Mega Blaster will be, really be up your alley. Um, I'm gonna put the uh, the links in the info box below, and um, and definitely check it out. He has a YouTube page and he also has a blog spot page. And uh, and also, when you get a chance, listen to the song uh, that he did produce. Uh, the song that he did for this rapper by the name of Div. The name of the song is called "On My Level," and uh, he also flipped that, you know, produced that using the um, the classic eight bit Nintendo video game sounds and things like that. So uh, definitely worth checking out. Okay, now let me get into this podcast. Uh, what this one is going to be about is going to be about Sarah Silverman hosting SNL. Uh, Sarah Silverman's not scheduled to host SNL, at least not yet. But uh, you know how everyone, how we had, how they had the uh, the Betty White campaign, um, and you know now they're doing something on Twitter, to where you can put the hashtag, you know SNL, and then put whatever host or musical guest you'd like to, you would like to see, you know, perform on SNL. I think we should do that with Sarah Silverman. And if you're a fan of Sarah, Sarah, Sarah I'm messing her name all up. Uh, I, I I think we should do that for Sarah Silverman, and uh, if you're definitely a fan of Sarah Silverman, uh, I, de I think we should definitely get behind this and do this. Um, for those of you that may not know this, uh, a little trivia information: uh, she was a featured player on Saturday Night Live back in the '93 '94 season, and she was also a writer. Um, none of her skits ever made it, um, although she did play you know little bit roles and skits here and there and. Things like that, and um, I think she even did like a few impersonations, like had like one lines as as the people that she did. Though, uh, she um the only the only thing that she wrote that actually made it on the show was a piece on Weekend Update with Kevin Nealon. Um, uh, you know, and and uh, it, it was said that a lot of her that all pretty much all her skits were just it, it one made it to made it to dress rehearsal, but actually didn't make it to the live show. So. Uh, you know, so she was actually, you know, she's a part of the SNL history, part of the SNL family. Um, and the way she found out that she was fired was that she got a fax. And uh, she, had, she had brought that up in many different uh, outlets saying that she, you know, the way she found out was that, they, that, that she was faxed the information. Um, and uh, even though that's in the past, uh, moving forward, I've been looking at the SNL documentaries and Sarah Silverman's, you know, on, on uh, at least two of them that I know of. Uh, and Sarah Silverman, uh, I don't think she's on two of them. What was one of they? Well, she's well, she yeah, she's on one that I know of. Uh, I think the nineties, and um, and uh, I think yeah, no, I think she's on two. Well, that's neither here nor there. But anyway, Sarah Silverman, she speaks uh, fondly of the show. I mean, even though you know she was fired like that, she doesn't. It doesn't seem like she has any bad blood or any beef with the show. Uh, she says good things about the show. Ed, I mean, other than she was fired by facts, she says good things about the show. Uh, you know, any opportunity she gets, the chance every time, every you know chance she gets, you know, to say something about it. Um. So I, you know, and and not just because she was on the show, and uh, and 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 and, and she's saying good things about it. Do I think she should host? Uh, I mean, Sarah Silverman. I mean, she's. I mean, she's. I mean, she's big. I mean, it's not like, I mean, at least she is now. Uh, I mean, I think she's almost a household name. I mean, I think she's just as big as Louie, and Louie hosted. Um, you know, uh, she's a very popular, very recognizable stand-up comedian. And, 
And although she, uh, although she uh, had a like a semi-popular show that was on Sarah uh, on Comedy Central, I feel that Sarah Silverman never had that really big, huge breakout role. But she's had enough like small roles that just added that just adds up. I mean, we've seen her. I mean, you've seen a movie with Sarah Silverman in it at least once, even if you don't really remember her scene or anything like that. I mean, Sarah Silverman has been getting work. Uh, lots of people like her. Uh, I mean, she has a name, uh, and uh, in the movie Wreck It Ralph, it just came out, um, and uh, uh, she's in it. Of course, she's one of the uh, the stars of it. Uh, and I know of November uh, Saturday Night Live has all their people booked up. They you know they have Anne Hathaway coming up soon this weekend, and uh, and the week after that they have Jeremy Renner. Um, but uh, but you know what? I don't think Sarah Silverman should host to plug anything. I think they should just let her host because I mean, it's, it, I mean, she should. She just should. And uh, and although she didn't do well on SNL when she was a cast, well, she was a featured cast member. I really have a lot of faith that I think that would be a great show. I think you know that everybody would step the game up for it. I think Sarah Silverman would would enjoy being there on the stage, and. Uh, and I think she, you know, I, I think it'd be a, 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 very, a very great show, you know. Um, so, yeah, so what we want to do is we want to start this Sarah Silverman, the host campaign. Um, just click the like button, share this video, uh, you know, do what you can. Get on Twitter, hashtag SNL host, uh, put Sarah Silverman's name in there. Uh, I'm going to be tweeting it. Uh, everyone else, tweet it. If you're a fan of Sarah Silverman, let's make this happen. You know, let's let's even blog about it, whatever. Because uh, and plus on top of that, I've been seeing Sarah Silverman. Speaking of blogs, I've been seeing Sarah Silverman's name uh, listed as you know. I mean, I keep seeing her listed as females that they would like to see host that hasn't hosted yet, and uh, and and it seems like she comes up every year. So uh, I mean, let's make it happen. Sarah Silverman, the whole Saturday Night Live. That's going to be a definitely a great conversation piece. So uh, so let's make it happen. Let's uh, let's make this campaign happen. Uh, you know, even if it's not Facebook, let's use Twitter. You know, all right, and that's all I'd like to say. And again, also check out DJ Mega Blaster. Check out his uh, video game inspired music. Also check out the movie Record. Ra well, I, I'm not. I don't really. I guess need to plug that. Let me see it myself first. <laughs> but uh, but that's all I'd like to say. I'm just some guy named Jay. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow.